Hey, y'all. <laughs> hmm. No one's joined, so I'm getting a little swig or something because you know I'm going to be talking. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, thanks for joining. I just logged on. Hey, Satch teacher. Thanks for joining. What you doing? <laughs> I know I've been MIA. I was working at night, overnight. So this is my first day off since being on the overnight shift. Oof. Anywho, today we're going to make cabbage and kielbasa. Something very easy. Thanks for joining. Are oh, you relaxing after work? Nice. I got, well, it's really four days when you count today. So I got four days off and then I go back and work seven. I work seven days on, four days off. But I digress. Today, we making cabbage. I got a little small head of cabbage. You know, after I, it cooks down, it's not going to be a whole lot. But it's going to be enough for me to share. And I know that is nice. That's seven days on, four days off. But when you get to that seventh day, you ain't cuss everybody out. I'm just saying. I got some beef kielbasa, kielbasa, kielbasi, which one is it? Somebody tell me. But anyway, I got some beef kielbasa. You can get whatever kind of kielbasa you want. There's the turkey, pork, of course. I like the beef. Um, I got one red pepper, one green pepper. I know I normally chop my stuff up. I mean, like my stuff already pre-chopped, but today I had to go with this. They didn't have to pre-chop. And two onions. I went to ShopRite. ShopRite did me dirty. They didn't have what I wanted. Then as far as seasoning is concerned, um, I don't have my Trader Joe's garlic, but I do have this um, extra virgin olive oil garlic that comes in a jar. Just as good. And for my seasoning, we got my favorite, Lowry Season Salt. Little garlic powder. And some paprika. <laughs> oh, and some olive oil. So, what we're going to do is make a real easy peasy lemon squeezy meal with cabbage and kielbasa. Now, we're going to do it on the on the, on the the stove. But I got to chop everything up. I really was going to pre-chop everything before I came on. But then I was like, y'all probably want to talk to me. So, talk to me. <laughs> so, I'm going to put a little olive oil in both pans. I got two pans. Can you see the pans? Let me see. Ah, see, I got two pans. Um, I got this pan. This one is going to be for my cabbage. And then this one is going to be for my kielbasa. And then I'm going to put them all together. Now, this is going to be a real garlicky meal because you know I love garlic. So, I'm going to put the um, olive oil in both pans. Just a little bit. Just a little bit in each pan. So, what y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> Somebody talk to me. Say, your teacher, what you making for dinner? Huh? I'm listening. <laughs> um, it would have helped if I had opened this up before I came on. But that's okay. Let me see. You made oh, you made the cheesesteak egg rolls. How'd they turn out? Were they good? I know they were good. What kind of cheese did you use? Let me see. Air fried chicken and greens. Ooh. You made the you didn't make the greens in the air fryer though. What you do with the greens? You made those on the stove, right? But tell her tell me something new. You can make greens in the air fryer. <laughs> Alright. So I open up the garlic and I'm just gonna put back where the kielbasa is, I put one little um teaspoon. Ah! of garlic and the cabbage I'm gonna put two because that's how I roll and then I'm gonna start chopping up stuff greens on the stove oh I love me some greens did I make greens oh I did make some greens one day I think I did some greens on here so let's get to chopping up I'm gonna do the onions first um I love me some greens greens on the stove air fried chicken that sounds really really good well, I'm off the next couple days, so I, I'm going to come up with a couple things that I can cook. I mean, I have a hot date tomorrow, so I might not cook tomorrow. Yeah, yo. I got a hot date. <laughs> and I know he think I'm going to cook, but I'm not. I ain't cook here. 
You don't get this good food. <laughs> yeah, bring me some food. All right. Whew. Onions are strong, y'all. Onions are strong. I might start crying up in here. So I'm trying to move fast. Trying to move fast. Let me see. You want to make some of the beef fried? Oh, that sounds good. I like when I made the shrimp fried um, cauliflower rice. That was so good. So good. As I'm talking to you, I'm cutting these onions up. See, this is why I like my stuff pre chopped. You know what I mean? But like I said, ShopRite wanted to do me dirty. They didn't want me to have pre chopped stuff. All right, I'm almost finished though. These onions though are strong. Who's, oh, you're allergic to seafood. You could make chicken fried cauliflower rice too. That would be good. Well, this is gonna be just a meal for you, no seafood. <laughs> so I'm cutting these onions up real quick to put in the pan. Because we want to get those start to saute and we want to get all the vegetables in there. I don't know if y'all can see me cutting. Who's, who said hey girly? Hey Janiya. Hi. Hey girl. Hey. Thanks for joining me. We're over here cooking. Well, says the teacher. She's on here. She already cooked. So I'm, I'm, I'm behind the eight ball. I'm trying to catch up. But right now I'm chopping up onions. And that's just because I didn't buy them pre-chopped like I normally do. So, oh, we're not going to put those in the um, the pan. Those are dropped on the floor. <laughs> Don't put those in the pan. Um, but I'm adding, these are the um, additions. I had two very small onions. So I just chopped those up. Let me rinse the onion juice off my board. Oh, you starting around seven. Oh, I thought you had already made it, said the teacher. Oh, all right. Oh, you starting around six. Do I have my glasses on? No. All right. I had to get the onion juice off that board. Woo. Woo. They about to start making me cry, y'all. Woo. I don't think I got all the onion juice off. Onions are strong, yo. As a matter of fact, let me put this lid on here. Ooh, they trying to do me. All right. One green pepper. Y'all know how to cut up a green pepper. I should hope you do. If you watching me, I hope you do. Because <laughs> I, I typically, ooh, these onions is killing me, y'all. They killing me. Um, I typically um, buy my stuff already chopped up. But... Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see through this. These onions, yo. They're trying to kill me. What do you do for onions? I never learned that. What do you do from keeping the onions from burning your eyes? Is there something that you're supposed to do? Somebody talk to me. Oh, Janiya. Okay, you going into a team meeting? Pay attention, girl. <laughs> Take notes. Do like me. <laughs> well if you on a if you on zoom like me i look like i'm paying attention but i put something next to my screen and i'll be looking at that <laughs> thanks for joining me janaya i appreciate you all right i'm cutting up green pepper y'all i'm cutting them in big chunks because they're gonna cook down Whew. my eyelashes is, is lifting up they always make me cry, Satch. They always make me cry. Oh my goodness. I'm losing eyelashes. But I just want you all to see, I'm cutting these in big chunks because they're going to cook down and you're going to put them in with the cabbage. So. And then I just got to do the red pepper and we about to get the stove crack a lacking. Yeah, I, um, I'm so glad I'm off the next couple days. I don't know what to do with myself. I really don't. My kids was trying to find their ways over here. And I was like, please no. <laughs> it's like, no. I love when my kids come over. But, you know, I think this time, this week, these four days, I'm not going to do nothing. I might not even take a shower. <laughs> All right. 
Let me see. Oh, thank you, Sierra, after VSG for joining me. I'm cooking. I haven't fired up the stove yet. I'm just trying to cut up these, these peppers and onions. The onions got me, though. Ooh. <laughs> you laughing at me, Sad? Because I'm not going to shower. <laughs> I'm a shower. Jeesh. You never know. I mean, I told you I had to eat tomorrow, so I got to shower tomorrow. <laughs> but other than that. All right, I'm almost finished cutting up this red pepper, and we about to get it crack a lacking. This really is an easy meal, aside from having to chop everything up. Yeah, I'm going to shower for my date. He going to appreciate that. <laughs> he going to appreciate that. But anywho, let me stop talking because my kids might watch this video. They're going to be like, what? They really going to be over here to bar around. <laughs> they going to be like, yeah. Block that. <laughs> but it's a little movie day. What should we watch? What should we watch? We going to Netflix and chill. <laughs> Is there any good movies on? All right. So you see, I got red peppers, green peppers, and onions. I'll show you in the pot. It looks so pretty. You know I like pretty. All right. So in this pan, we have olive oil, garlic, red peppers, green peppers, and onions. And we're going to start sauteing those down a little bit. Did I need a bigger pan? I hope I didn't need a bigger pan. You know how that goes. <laughs> oh, Night in Miami. Isn't that on um, Amazon Prime? Hey, CJ Cuts. Hey. Hi, graduate. How you doing? Thanks for joining me, y'all. I'm over here cooking. We making, um, it's not really fried cabbage. It's, um, what is it? I'm trying not to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm over here trying to make cabbage and kielbasa. So, we got that in there. Now, let's just chop up the cabbage. Thank you. I needed some blessing. I need to sneeze like three times because isn't three times money. <laughs> Thank you, CJ Cuts. Y'all giving me all these blessings. I need to sneeze more because if you th sneeze three times, that's when you get the money. I don't know what one time is. One time you don't get, you don't get shit. <laughs> Sorry. Did I cuss? What day is this? Okay, I'm good because I can only cuss. I don't cuss on Mondays and Wednesdays or Sundays and Wednesdays. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, so now I'm just going to chop up the cabbage. I've never learned a, a good way to do that. So I just kind of chop, 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 whatever way. We're going to put it all in the pan. I know that. Uh. I have allergies, y'all. I really don't. It's Tuesday. Oh, I can cuss. Yay. <laughs> um, I got allergies, y'all. Bad sinus problems. Probably need to have some surgery for that. All right. As a matter of fact, excuse me. I got to grab a paper towel and blow my nose, okay? Don't listen. Don't watch. What you going to use? You going to use this, this, this recipe, graduate? Use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Just blowing my nose. Washing my hands real quick. Thank God I'm next to the sink. Wash your hands, y'all. I was watching the news today while I'm cooking. And they were talking about with this new strain of COVID that we need to wear two masks. The fuck? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright. So... I'm still cutting up this cabbage, but I don't know about that wearing two masks. Like, what the hell? I can't even breathe with the one mask. Your cabbage, when you cut it up, it don't have to be pretty, y'all. Ellen, you joined. Look at you joining me. Hey, honey. Um, Yeah. Oh, yeah. CJ, because what do you do for your allergies? I take, um, normally I take an Allegra. And this is probably about the time that I take it. And so... I, um, 
that's probably why I'm sneezing and then the onions set, set it off. I'm just chopping up this cabbage, y'all. No rhyme, no reason. It's not going to look pretty at all. But it's all chopped up. There was one whole... Oh, you use Benadryl? Okay. I know. Who said, Who came up with two masks? I'm not... I can't do that. I'm going to have to stay in the house. So, all the cabbage is chopped up. This was that one little small head of cabbage. So, we waiting for that. In the meantime, we can start cutting up... Um, the beef polish kibasa. Yeah, it's gonna cook down. It ain't gonna. It's gonna taste good, child. <laughs> and you know I got my favorite seasoning. My Lowry season salt. You know I'm all about the Lowry's. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and um, open up the kibasa. You can get it at any supermarket. You can get whatever kind you want: beef, turkey, pork, whichever kind you like best. I like the beef. I like the turkey too, but I really like the beef. Hey Heidi. Hey Carol. Hey. Thanks for joining. I appreciate y'all. So I haven't cooked in a minute. Because I was on night shift, y'all. But I'm off the next four days. So we can ready. I got a little trash bag over here. That's where I be putting the trash. Um I'm gonna rinse off the meat. I'm you know, rinse off your sauces, child. Y'all know who touched it. When they was packaging and I don't know how they do that. Let me see. When I get a chance, plunge you send some recipes, girl. You better watch these videos. These are the recipes. What recipe you want? <laughs> All right. When I cut um let me rinse off my knife. When I cut my kielbasa, I like to cut it on an angle. I just think it looks pretty like that. Please gonna cut it all up. The slices are not too thick, not too thin. You see him? Hey, Nicole, I see you, Journey by Nicole. All right. So, just cut them thin like that on an angle. All righty. And for those who missed, um, I'm about to stir up this, this um, these sauteing vegetables. Hey, girl, hey. Oh, you was like... You was going to make kielbasa too? Psh, listen, this is the meal. Go get you a head of cabbage. And plus it's going to last a couple days. Well, it's not going to last me a couple days because my son going to come get it. He already told me. He was like, what? Kielbasa and sausage? <laughs> I wish I was a chef. <laughs> they would put me out though because I'm unorthodox. I don't, know, I don't know what to call stuff. I don't know what to do. Oh, you made some kielbasa already. Okay, let me find out. Well, we cutting up this kielbasa now. I'm about to stir these vegetables. So as you can see, I cut up the whole thing. I think I got my vegetables simmering a little too high, y'all. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh. They smell so good. They smell so fresh, y'all. You know I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to put them back on here. You know I be doing unorthodox cooking, right? I don't cook like the regular folk. I gotta do it my own way. Um. All right. So these are, if you can see. Ooh, you see that smoke? It does smell good. Peppers, onions, um, and garlic. That's what's in that pan. That's where the um. That's where the uh, cabbage is going to go. And it's going to be good. Now in the back pan, I have a little garlic. I'm going to turn that on. And let that cook a little bit. Start, you know, getting in that oil, the garlic. That's where I'm going to throw this kibasi. I be swearing I'm doing something, y'all. Oh, snap. We got a special guest in the Biff Dean. We got JD Hits. Y'all know who JD Hits is? That's my son. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> he heard folks of uh, Cabbage and Kielbasa. He said, oh, snap. That's right. Hey, Alan, it is going to be delicious. Too bad you too far away to get some. <laughs> That's right. So we actually live, Jared, and in color. <laughs> so 
So I'm making for those who just joined kielbasa and cabbage. Oh, your mouth is girl. Get this food. <laughs> All right. So I am gonna stir this little. Um, as a matter of fact, let me put the lid back on one. Cause I want the peppers and onions to cook down a little bit before I start putting the cabbage in there. So I'm gonna talk to y'all for a little bit. Talk to me, y'all. Tell me something. Yeah, he smelled that food. He knew that food was cooking. He'll be over. He'll come get it. Won't you, JD Hits? If he's still on. <laughs> we got a special guest in the building. Yes. All right. So I can start putting stuff away. You know how I like to clean as I go. So the olive oil, we don't need that anymore. Let me get these onions up that I actually dropped on the floor. Don't drop the food on the floor like me, y'all. <laughs> uh, I'm too old to be dropped. Like I want to do that busted challenge, but I can't. Uh, I can't get down like that. So all I can do is this part. <laughs> Are you coming as soon as you get off? Okay. Let me see. You about to get a cabbage for the other half that you didn't cook? Do it. Get a small cabbage. I was trying to find a small cabbage head. That was hard. I, there wasn't a lot of small ones. Girl, I can't do no busted challenge. I, I can get to about right here, and that's it. <laughs> you gonna get all this right, all this movement up here. Okay, so the cabbage, you know me. I'm old school cook. I just look at it. Um, but if I had to quantify the time, I would say it's gonna take about 25 minutes. <laughs> you know I was going to try to do the busted challenge But you know <laughs> um, What you use? You actually used what? I don't know what that is Oh you used coleslaw Is that what you about to say? Girl It's pre-chopped Say less I think that's what you about to say You about to put me D? <laughs> Alright so we're gonna put the kielbasa in the in the pan in the bag. It's so we're not gonna season the kielbasa because it's already salty enough. See Nicole, I'm glad that you joined because you just put me D with something new. That makes sense. Yes, pre-chopped. Why you ain't tell me till today? You was holding out. All right, so. <laughs> We're going to start adding a little cabbage in to these veggies because they, they cook down a little bit. So let me move this over so I don't have to go too far. You can't add it all at the same time because you got to let it cook down a little bit. And as you add it, like I'm going to put half of it in here. That's when I'm going to add some of my seasoning. Because I haven't seasoned anything yet. If you noticed, I hadn't seasoned anything. So, you know I got my favorite. Lowry seasoning salt. And then I got, what is this? Garlic powder. I'm going to wait on the paprika. I do that towards the end. Because you know I just like it to have some color. So I'm going to put that in there and then let it cook down a little bit and then we'll put the other in there. It's going to take a little second for it to cook down a little bit. Let the kielbasa in the back. For those who didn't see, I'll show you the pan. Kielbasa and garlic and olive oil. This is what we're doing, y'all. We cooking dinner. We cooking dinner. It's going to be so good. Garlic powder versus garlic salt. So garlic salt is just what it sounds like. It's salty. It has like, um, it's like a salty component. So you have to be careful with it because if you're adding like a seasoned salt and, or regular salt and you add garlic salt, it might be too salty. So I go with the powder. So it just gives you the essence of the garlic, if that makes any sense. I hope so. Hopefully it made a little sense. Don't use the garlic salt. 
you don't have enough sodium. So, especially like me, because I cook with Lowry's. Lowry's goes on everything. And I know that's bad. That's like my Achilles heel. <laughs> It'll be way too much. So just do the powder. And do the onion powder too. I like the powders. So, Kilbasi is cooking up. That's my, that's my bus it. <laughs> that's my bus it. All right. Let's um, do some stirring so I can get some more cabbage in this pan. Ooh. Ah. We ooh and an eye, yo. All right, I just put a little bit more in. Little bit more. You just keep putting a little bit more in. What did I say? Somebody asked me how long it was going to take. I guess it's going to take a little bit longer than 25 minutes, maybe 30 you gotta get it in there i mean you could do do get a bigger bigger pan like you know like a pan that you make greens in but i don't i don't do it like that maybe i should do it like that all right you know as i add more i add more seasoning that's when i put the little seasoning in all right we only got a little bit more to put in the pan the cabbage do <laughs> Don't y'all put me, look, don't y'all put me out there with the cabbage and the busset. Listen, you know, that's how you know how, that's when you know I'm old, when you see me do the busset challenge. I'm going to do the walking challenge, though. I'm going to do that, um, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Oh, graduate, thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy it. You should join us more often. We really do be cooking up in here. <laughs> but I have been off the grid. They had me working. They had me working, working, working. Hey, Mr. C. I see you. Thanks for joining. I appreciate you. So, they had me working so hard, y'all. I couldn't, I couldn't even see straight. So, I couldn't, I was cooking. I was posting pictures of the little things that I do, but I couldn't do no video. Did y'all see my chaffles? I made some chaffles, so I made two kinds of chaffles. If you see the chaffle I made today, don't make that. Ew. The Wonder Bread chaffle. But the chaffle that I made yesterday, the French Toast chaffle, that's the one. So you, just so you know, if you're looking at my pictures, yeah, don't make, don't make the Wonder Bread chaffle set. That one is no bueno. That one tasted like, blah, like garbage. But, you know, because I'll tell y'all, I be making stuff. It be real pretty. And then you taste it and you be like, ugh. This is going to be good because I make this all the time. All right. So we're going to stir, stir, stir. Got to wash my fingers. I probably should have used the bigger pan, but it's going to cook down, y'all. That's me thinking tiny, not thinking big enough. That's okay. It's cooking down. Try to keep it in the pan. Try to get this last little bit in here. Last little bit. It's cooking down. But like, I probably, like I said, should use a bigger pan. I don't want this piece. All right. You know what we're going to do. Let me see. Yes, Danny girl. Yes. You didn't see the French toast shuffle? Journey by Nicole, that was yesterday. Danny girl, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Cabbage and kibasa. That's the, that's the go-to. If you miss what I'm sprinkling in here, I'm sprinkling in Lowry season salt. And I'm sprinkling in um, garlic powder. We already put garlic in there. I got the little pre chop. Now, I normally use the Trader Joe's where you just. But I'm out of it. And since they're talking about wearing two masks now, I ain't going to Trader Joe's no time soon. Because <laughs> people be in there. Now, let's go real early with the seniors. Which I could do. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. Still trip. Y'all think I should cook for my little hot date tomorrow? I don't know. 
<laughs> Do you deserve this good food? Kielbasi is cooking up nice. I guess we could call it garlic kielbasi. Because I got the garlic in it. But I like it to be nice and brown. It's cooking. Y'all can see it. It's cooking. We're getting it together. So, now we're just kind of letting it cook down and do what it do. Right? Yeah, Journey by the Coco. Look at the French toast. It was so good. And it's not made with... Um, yeah, you hear that sizzle. It's not made with... The French toast chocolate isn't made with regular cheese. It's made with cream cheese. And I thought that sounded interesting, right? So, it really does change the taste of the chocolate. I just needed to add... Um, a little bit more Truvia and I think next time I'm going to try it with the Splendor Brown Sugar say less I think it's going to be it's going to be that meal maybe I'll try that tomorrow oh, I didn't mean to put that away so you know I'm just cleaning up as I'm talking to you that sounds good right that sounds real good yeah we over here sizzling I done lost a few, few of our viewers but that's okay because what I like about these um, lives is that people go back and watch them. And I post it on my YouTube channel. Y'all watch my YouTube channel? Because sometimes I put stuff on there that I don't put on Instagram. Did y'all know that? Because I be making, I be talking too much. <laughs> Video be too long. And Instagram be like, nope, you can't upload that. They only let you upload 15 minutes. That's why I started going live. Because when you go live, you can talk forever. But if you... Do a video like sometimes I actually change my kitchen around, pull stuff out so you can see everything. Oh, girl, you ain't know how to YouTube channel, girl. Yeah, it's in my bio. Click the link, subscribe. Thank you. Um, but <laughs> but um, sometimes I just be talking too much, as you can see, like what I'm doing right now. Talk, 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 talk. All right. I need to do more cooking and less talking. That's what I need to do. So when I do my little videos, I don't have anybody, you know, to talk to. But I, I still, thanks for subscribing, Sage. I appreciate you. The link is in the bio. I just be talking too much. You know, did y'all know I used to have a podcast too? I could have a whole conversation about myself forever. <laughs> yeah, yo. Ah. Okay, so note to self. Next time... Use a different pan. But this stuff is cooking, y'all. And it's cooking down. And it's smelling so, 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 so good. You know what? I might transfer to a different pan. I don't know. Y'all think I should do a pan transfer? What you think? I'm getting the wait a minute. It's mixing up. Um, I might not need to do a pan transfer. I just need to cook down a little bit more. That's all. Watch my... I'm trying not to burn myself as I do this. This is not the professional way to do it, y'all. This is how come you know I'm not a chef. I really do be trying, though. <laughs> I know y'all like, what is she doing? I'm getting it, y'all. I'm getting it all in here. All right. All right, y'all. Woo. It will cook down in there. I just be panicking sometimes. I be on my extra panic. <laughs> but this kielbasa? Yo. I'm telling you, I wish y'all could smell it. It looks so pretty. It's getting brown. Let me just... I like when it gets that real brown kind of crispy caramelized. Is that a good word? Caramelized look. Gotta stay hydrated, y'all. Y'all stay hydrated. I've been drinking four of these a day. I remember when I first had my surgery. For those who had surgery, I could only really drink one of these. I was like, I don't know how anybody does it. And now... I'd be like, sip, sip, sip all day. So when your doctors tell you sip, sip, do that. It really does help. Ooh. It's good for your skin. 
I mean, my skin looks good today, but that's makeup and good lighting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'll put on a little makeup for y'all. Let me see. I'm stirring, stirring, stirring. I think I'm going to put this a little bit more. Um, oh, it's cooking down, y'all. And it got those onions and the garlic. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. There it is. There it is on the cook down. Y'all see it. You know what I'm going to do because I don't think I have enough. I know y'all going to be like, really? I think you have enough, but I don't think I have enough. I'm going to add a little bit more Lowry's seasoned salt. Again, you got to be careful. I'm only going to add just a little bit more because the kibasa is salty. Right? So you don't want to put a whole lot in there. But I am going to put a little bit more in there. I just feel, you know, I'm going to feel good. What does it say? Who, oh, you almost at your one-year anniversary, said your teacher? When's your anniversary? Talk to us. What month is this? This is um, January, so is it... So is it what? February or March? Hey, Vivi. I see you. Thanks for joining. How you doing, Vivi? I ain't seen you in a long time. Um, January 29th. Oh, my God. That's like in a week. What you going to do? You got to do something special. You going to buy yourself something special? I got my something special list. Y'all got a something special list? I definitely have a something special list. Yes, congratulations, Sag. Happy anniversary. That's right, Journey. You got to let her know. Get you something special. What's on your something special list? I got so many different things on my something special list. I can't even tell y'all. And this is what's special year for me because I turned 50. So let me see. That's in three days. What's a week? You, been a, you a week out, Danny? What? Tell me. What I say? Because, you know, I be talking so much. I don't know what I said. Are we talking about how long you've been? You had surgery? Let me see. You don't know what to do? Girl, you got to do something. Like, major. It's been a whole year. Did you hit your goal weight yet? Are you close to it? What you doing? How's it going? You happy you did this? This was the best decision you ever made? Because I know it was the best decision I ever made. All right. Now, what, what you don't want to do... It's talk so much that you burn the kibasa. That's no bueno. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is in a week, right? Yeah. Who turns 50 this year? You do? What do you turn 50, Sag? I turn 50 in April. Let me see. Who said I look 30? Thank you. I wish I was 30. My son will be 30. <laughs> Best decision ever. Best decision ever. Okay. I'm going to give this kielbasa one last, one last go around and then that's going to be very beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I was talking to my nutritionist the other day because I had my little appointment. And did I tell you all that I got permission to drink coffee? For those who know that I've been sneaking coffee, I finally got permission to drink coffee. I can drink up to 12 ounces a day. I don't drink 12 ounces a day, but I can't. She said I can. But anyway. I was talking to my nutritionist, and she was saying how people who lose weight sometimes think that they look older. And I was like, nah, I got the 20-year-olds coming at me now. <laughs> Holla! It's like, I don't want nobody's mom asking me what I'm doing with their son. I don't. But I did look. <laughs> 20 is too young, y'all. All right. So the kielbasa is done. So we just really, at this point, waiting on this cabbage. You see the kielbasa? It's done. So it's, we, we made like a garlic version of the kielbasa. I put the uh, olive oil, a, ta a teaspoon of the garlic, and uh, <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. Thank you. I should have been a comedian for real, but I guess it's not too late. I, I can't be heckled though. See, I could talk to y'all, but if somebody huckle me, then my feelings going to be hurt. And then I'm going to be like, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> okay. See, 41. 40s is when life starts. I'm telling you. For those people who are under under 40, 
have a good time, do your thing, whatever. But 40, that's when everything gets clear. The fog clears out. And you're like, oh, I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. <laughs> I'm over here quoting songs. All right. Oh, wow. This cabbage is cooking down nice, nice, nicely. I'm not going to lift it up. But, oh, the peppers, the onions, the garlic. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know what you're missing over here. I hope y'all make this. Y'all already know my son is coming to come get this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's so pretty. This was an easy meal, right? Who's turning 40 in seven months? Barry, let me tell you, very beautiful. Life is about to begin, yo. The clouds clear out. You can see stuff. You be like, oh, I see you. <laughs> I see you, fool. Yeah, everything gets a lot clearer. You like, yeah, I get it. Now, did y'all remember I told you about the paprika? We're going to start adding the paprika because I like food that has color. Right? You know, like, say it again, Journey by Nicole. Tell her. Tell Barry. Very beautiful. Switch flips at 40. <laughs> Life begins. So as you can see, I'm just going to show you because, oh, it's so pretty. Y'all see how pretty that is? Just throw some little paprika in there. Little paprika. Because you want, I don't want no bland looking food. I'm not a bland looking food chick. So stir that up. And a little bit more. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't wait to po post that picture on the net. So how long has it been? Because somebody asked me how long it takes to cook. Um, Satch, you really should do a photo shoot. That's That's amazing. You have to. One year, do it. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I'm going to do a photo shoot, but I'm always taking pictures. Always. I want to do a photo shoot with my kids. So, but here's the thing. My son is getting married this year. And so, I'm trying to, what's, what month is this? January. So, February is when I'm going to start my heavy-duty workout workouts. I'm going to start posting my workout videos. Oh, CJ Cut, you look 25. Meow. Get them. <laughs> Get them, girl. Um, I'm going to start doing my little workout because I'm, I'm still 15 pounds away from my, my goal, but I want to be Angela Bassett, clack, 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 clackety clack. That's what I want to be. I want to be able to do the Busted Challenge because right now... These knees, they like, nah, nah, sis. <laughs> but I'm going to work it out so that I can do all that and be the real true MVP. <laughs> so, the sauce, I mean, the cabbage has now cooked down. And now so I can cook, I'm going to add the sausage in just so that it can be, um, get some of that flavor in it while it's cooking. You know, I like to do it at before it's finished cooking and I don't even drain it or get any of the I just put all the sausage juice right on in there let me uh let me use two hands before the cabbage ends up on the um <laughs> on the on the floor and I'll be sitting here crying y'all be like she was just laughing a minute ago then she dropped it o m g y'all don't know y'all don't know how good this is about to be Oh my goodness. So we are done here. You know, I'm going to let it cook for a cup, maybe like a minute more. Because this cabbage is cooked down, y'all. Let me show you how pretty it looks. Hold on. I got to get a, a, a pretty picture for y'all. Y'all see it? Oh. Yes, 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 yes. All right, I missed something. What did somebody say? Let me see. I'll be waiting on that busted video. 
girl. Yes. Oh, you like my little um dollar ninety nine lashes? <laughs> Let me see. Yo, if you have to perform surgery, you don't got to perform no surgery, girl. Listen. Hey, Miss Tony. I see you joining. Thanks for joining. Y'all, the best lashes are the dollar ninety nine lashes. I'm telling you. Don't spend a whole lot of money. Don't get the the mink and all that other stuff. Thanks, Tony. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be as a matter of fact. Let me turn it off and put the lid on while I talk to you. Cause I'm about to talk to y'all and then I'm going to be done. Cause I gotta go eat it. Well, I gotta wait. Y'all still wait. I wait. I stop drinking 15 minutes before I eat. And then I don't drink again for another 30 minutes. My nutritionist said that that was okay. But I need to take one more swig. So now I'm going to have to wait. Because <laughs> I've been talking. So what we made today, I'm going to recap real quick. And let y'all, I'm going to go through the recap. We made fried cabbage and kielbasa. Not really fried because I used olive oil instead of the butter. Because the butter, oof, back in the day, the butter was so good. But so we, in one pan, I had olive oil, onions, green peppers, red peppers, and garlic. Olive oil. I put the cabbage in that pan. In another pan, I had olive oil, garlic, beef kielbasa. You can use whatever kielbasa you want to use. You can use turkey, beef, you can use pork. Whatever kibasi you want to use, chop it up, put it in the pan, cook the cabbage down, put the kibasi in it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I appreciate y'all for joining. Um, make this meal. Let me know how it was. I'm going to post a picture and I'm going to post a video. And like I said, I appreciate all y'all. And I might be back tomorrow. But I do have a hot date, so maybe not. Maybe for lunchtime. It all depends on what time my hot date is. It might be all day. <laughs> all right. I'm going to see y'all later. Y'all have a good one. I might talk to y'all a little bit more, like I said, but I'm hungry. <laughs> talk to you later.